up y'all and welcome back to another one like i promised if you watched the opening day till hunt i warned y'all that we we're bringing the sherp out here to the marsh preston's marsh this is what we're doing today you brought us a pump you brought hose yeah and we're gonna pump some pit blinds got some blind grass we're gonna throw on them oh we're gonna re-blind what yeah. two or three of them probably yeah the other ones are underwater yeah completely underwater how many blinds are out here total uh, there's six steel blinds and like eight concrete blinds that we don't hunt anymore. And all of them are underwater, but three of them. So the three that aren't underwater, we're going to pump them out. We're going to get them dry so we can hunt them. But Kansas has had a ton of rain and it has overflowed the marsh. I mean, it's way high. All the blinds underwater, like I've been describing. So the shirt, it's going to allow us to get in and do some maintenance that we need to do. We were going to use the Sherp and actually move the blinds around, but we're just going to leave them where they are and try to get them dry so we can at least hunt out of them. But first off, before we get started, I got two things for y'all. Check out that new Ducks Field hat. Oh yeah, the old dad hat style. That's what your boy likes. And if you're interested in Ducks Pro Staff, guys, I would get your email sent to Ducks because we are filling up with Pro Staff opportunities. There's not many left. So if you guys want to apply for Ducks Pro Staff, I will link it down below as well as this brand new hat. I will link it down below whenever you guys pick up something from Ducks. It goes directly to supporting your boy and bringing you more of these videos. What do you think? This is awesome. Isn't it wild? Makes this a lot easier than using the Argo. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, here's our first blind that we're going to check out. I mean, uh, that needs grass bad. Oh, it needs grass real bad. Oh, uh, and she needs pumped out re even worse. Check her out. We're going to float kind of into it here, but yeah, she's full. She needs some help. Oh, <laughs> uh, you wouldn't guess it even if I told you. Preston just dropped the plug. Hey, to be fair, it was on the top. <laughs> oh, it was sitting up there? <laughs> well, I mean, it goes in the hole up here, but I pulled it out and it fell out. Oh, so he dropped the plug. It's on the bottom, obviously, now. I'd say the water's a good, I don't know, 60, 50, no, 60. It's that. Is it it's like nice. 65 degrees, maybe? Yeah. Yeah? It's comfortable. It's not like... I couldn't float in the lake all day. <laughs> he did have waders on. He had to jump in after the plug. Now he has to do some searching to find it. You gotta go under and hand fish that bad boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My arms aren't long enough. Any luck? No luck? I need to hold myself under. Uh oh, come on, get the plug. If you don't get the plug, we can't pump uh, any blinds. Anything? How far have we floated? We haven't. Okay. Good. It might be up under here yeah, a little more, you think? Be. Come on, Preston. You got her. Give a, Show us your noodling skills here. Come on. Come on. You can do it, buddy. Nothing? <laughs> We're going to find it, though. Oh, no. It was more to the right. Where at? It was way more to the right of where we thought it was. Like where? Like right here. We it was there. way over there? It must have been when you jumped in and you shoved it around. But he found it. Well, how, you've been working for like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. At, probably right at 20 minutes to be, to be quite honest. I have to pretty much admit, I, hey man, I love you guy, but I gave up on you. <laughs> I was done. <laughs> All righty, back to work we go. Yeah. Gonna pump this bad boy out. I don't know how it's gonna go. Bottom it up. pumping her down check it out here oh this is awesome it took a little bit to get her down pat but now we got her she's a running oh yeah it's a happening we're about to have some pit lines baby 
If you like this video, some duck hole prep video just like this, smash that thumbs up button for me. Let's get this video over 2,000 likes. With your help, we can. I know I'm always preaching, help me, help me, but the more amount of likes, the more it helps this video. day though the winds finally dying down for us good stuff right here good stuff we're almost there now one of the main worries is it's because of how high the water is if we've been worried and wondering if we pump these all the way out with how high the water is if they would be too buoyant and pop the anchors so kind of a test run what we're doing we're hoping that we don't pop the anchors on the whole line you know what I mean so Probably getting clogged up. Yeah, it's just getting clogged up. Well, we got bad news down here, y'all. Check it out. Check that out. See the water rushing in? This is an old steel blind. Preston, how old are these blinds? Uh, these blinds are at least 20 years old. 20 years old. So, yeah, they're steel blinds. I would say that bad boy rusted through. Check that out. So what's going to happen, it's going to fill up to uh, the height of the water out here. So this blind is a bust this year. Um, probably yank it out once uh, the end of the season comes, eh? Have someone come weld it. Or have someone come when weld it. it. When it gets up. dry. It yeah, up yeah that's the only thing. The only option would be to wait till this thing hopefully dries up this next summer and have someone come weld it or you just trash it, so I don't know. Well, here we are at the next one. Check it out. This one, I can tell it's not leaking because it don't have any weeds in it. The last one it had all them weeds in it because it's been leaking forever. The weeds grew inside of it and started growing weeds everywhere in there. This one's clean, it don't have any weeds at all. This one should go quick. Well, here we go. Getting her done, we done learned her up now. Oh yeah, it's pumping quick. This one's going real fast. This one don't have any leaks, so it should be good. Which one you wanna go to? Go to that big one, the three man. This one? Yeah, I think that's the only one we got left on this side. And then we can go look at those other ones, but I don't think there's any pumping them out. K. 
We actually hit it last night. Um, humbling, guys. Extremely humbling. I just wanted to uh, sit down in the old flower chair and talk for a little bit at the end of this video. It wasn't a very long video. Uh, it was awesome with the Sherp out there. We got three, no, we got two of the pits pumped out. But uh, I wanted to end the video and give some thanks, talk about some things, let you guys know the future, the plans to come within the next week. Yeah, so to start off, I am going to Canada, Alberta, Canada, this coming weekend for my birthday. It's me and Wade. As a lot of you longtime subscribers know, Wade is my best friend. We grew up waterfowl hunting together. That's where my roots lie, me and Wade. We found public duck hunting together, then we moved to field hunting geese, like you all know. And uh, we get to go on to Buddy Canada trip. It'll be a trip of a lifetime. Uh, so stay tuned for those videos to come. They are going to be bangers. You're talking, uh, we'll have piles of specks, mallards, pintails, snows, canadas, you name it. It's all open up there. Heck, if we even get permits, we might even have a couple cranes on the ground. I don't know. But I want to give some thank yous uh, that help the channel get to 100K. First off, all my guys that helped me in the field. All of you guys know who you are. I can't go through every single name. But y'all know who you are. Thank you so much. To my boys that help me with photography and video work, you guys know who you are. Thank you so much. To my boys that help me hunt, not only sit spreads, but actually get permission on fields from farmers, thank you. To the farmers that give me permission and my farmer buddies, thank you so much. To my wife, oh my goodness, if it wasn't for my wife, my rock, my home, my solitude, the thing that keeps me going when uh, I would get down and out, you know, if something's not working on the channel, you never know, you know, that it has its ups and downs. Thank you to her. Thank you to my family. Uh, thank you to my parents. Uh, thank you to the Ducks crew, Ducks Waterfowl. Big, big, big shout out to Ducks Waterfowl, Andrew, Austin, Brad, my boys, my fam. Oh my goodness, and, and huge, huge, massive thank you to Andrew Flair. A lot of you know Andrew, and uh, we are going to be getting on some fall hunts together again this coming season. We didn't do many last year. I think we had two, but uh, we're going to try to get in the blind together some more. But huge, massive shout out to Andrew Flair. Uh, he taught me the game. He put me on deck. He taught me the ins and outs of YouTube, and he is the reason why the channel exists. Big thank you goes to Andrew Flair. But huge, 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 huge thank you to you all for not only subscribing, hitting that thumbs up video when I ask you guys to because you know it helps, yada, yada, yada. Thank you guys for being here. If it weren't for you guys, we definitely wouldn't exist. And to all you awesome people out there that support me by purchasing Ducks Waterfowl gear. I always tell you guys, if you want to directly support the channel, Go over to Ducks Waterfowl and purchase something. I always have all these links down in the description below. If you guys only knew how much it helps when you do purchase something. As I've said a lot of times, YouTube doesn't like hunting that much anymore. So any video could be demonetized at any time. So thank you all so much. <sighs> but road to one million, right? <laughs> But thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you guys for being loyal. Thank you to my notification squad. I have to give a massive shout out to my notification squad. You guys are always on point, always smashing the video right when it's freaking uploaded and always hitting the thumbs up button before the video even starts. Thank you so much. It helps incredibly, I mean a ton. But subscribe if you haven't. We got a lot of great hunts to come. Alberta on my birthday. I'll be sitting in the field shooting birds. I hope you guys are there with me. Until next time. Peace.